my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at FIJ 2020. I'm sitting now with Thibaut Lyon from uh, Studio H, and you brought us now the uh, award-winning, uh, or if not. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so if you guys hadn't heard, hi, this has won the uh, French Game of the Year. The, uh, oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Which just just a few days ago, so this it is was quite new. a miracle. <laughs> I mean, and the nomination in itself was already such a joy, and I, I, to, yeah, to tell you, I was ready to clap. Any of the three other games, I was I was sitting in the room about to clap, ready? and then oh, oh, that was us. We, we won. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, that was quite uh, yeah quite unexpected, but oh, such a thrill. I mean. The, the booth has been swarmed, and I mean, that's our, our pleasure. We sold out, of course. Excellent. It's, it's, it's so great, so great. I'm very proud of the authors. It's their first game. Oh, first game ever. Wow, I wow. Mean, and yeah, they just mm, hit the nail on the head, as you would say. So let's go in for people who aren't familiar, who are saying, why is this a big award winner? What's all the fuss about? Well, so. So it's a card game, it's set in a fantasy kingdom where the king has died without an heir and the great families, which the players will embody, are now fighting tooth and nail for the throne. So it will be all about bluffing, planning your schemes in the shadows and revealing them at the right time. So it's very quick to play, about uh, 15 to 20 minutes, very interactive. Of course, there's a lot of uh, assassinating, stealing and <laughs> dealing involved. And yeah, and it's just played with a set of 10 cards. Everyone receives so the, um, a set of cards matching their family, their family's color with uh, the different agents. So there's a soldier, there's a law, there's an archer, there's an assassination, a conspiracy, and you will play your cards in turns face down in the middle of the line. So we, we, as you said, you had set up somewhat of a mid-game. Absolutely, uh, this would be a mid-game situation with a mix of cards face up and face down. Uh, and the main mechanic is that every turn you would add one of your own cards to the, the queue, the face, influence face queue. Face up or face, face down. down? No face down, you ah, always okay. um, place it face down. And then you resolve the, the, whole, the whole queue in, in order, and you get to choose whether you reveal your card or not. If you do, you get to benefit from the power, which are pretty easy to understand, so the archer will uh, eliminate uh, one of the cards uh, in the queue, the spy will allow you to steal some influence from a, a rival, the lord will allow you to generate some points for your family, so the effects are very easy to understand. It's all about uh, combining them in a clever way and also all the politics around the table. Who's winning? Uh, who, am I, who am I taking out? Um, What's, what's face down? Because the other option is to leave your cards face down. I was just going to say, what's the benefit of leaving them face down? Well, you do generate some points, which you place on the cards, and these points you will score when you reveal the card. So you can wait a little, a few turns, a couple turns, in order to, to generate some points, and then reveal the effect at the perfect time, so when it's the most relevant, and then take all the points you generated. So, yeah, it's, it's all about... Um, uh, like you, you have to like to be second the whole game and then reveal your cards at, on the last turn and then <laughs> steal the crown basically. So yeah, play down your strength, uh, try to uh, direct the attention to the other players, to your direct rivals, and then uh, oh, I won. Oops. <laughs> so yeah. And it plays uh, up to four. It plays up to five actually, okay. three to five, and of course it's a bit different with three and five, uh, but yeah, and it's it's it, it works great in, in fairs because it's it's very interactive, very quick to learn. Group of friends want to strike at each other, take revenge, so it worked, worked great. Yeah, and as you said, the powers are so oh, easy yeah. to understand oh, that, I mean, they it's are. not even a sentence worth of text on each card, Absolutely. so it's really easy. Absolutely, yeah. Now, is this, uh, the copy in our hands is French, Absolutely. but um, what's the timetable for other language support? Very, very soon. Uh, in fact, uh, well, for the US at least, it's releasing uh, March 6th, so in a couple weeks. It's been, it's released by Asmodi along with our uh, our second release, uh, which, as, which is Alibari, A Nice Cup of Tea. A very, very different worker placement game. Yeah, they're coming out both at the same time, early March. So Excellent. I think they're, yeah, they're, they've been, uh, the, the Americans have waited for them for, for quite a bit, so it's, they're finally, <laughs> finally releasing. <laughs> well, if you guys want to see what all the fuss is about for the uh, now official German, uh, German, sorry, French <laughs> game of the year, <laughs> uh, then you can check out Oi Flamme, which is here in uh, uh, France, is being published by Studio H. And both, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Beth. Thank you for having me.